welcome back to the channel. So this is a very long overdue <laughs> completed pages video um, because I didn't do one at the end of June. So I have June and July's pages here. They're completely all mixed up. So some haven't got dates on. <laughs> I've just been very unorganized um, because of being poorly, etc but we'll get into it anyway so this one in disney art deco by hachette heroes is a whip i took this book on holiday with me but i got food poisoning on holiday started it the seventh and couldn't finish it so not really much left to do on there so hopefully i can get that finished in august we also have a whip in 50 Farmers Miniatures. Um, I didn't write the date of when I started this, so I'll have to go back through my photos and look because I always take, like, progress pictures. Um, so I started this one as a buddy colour with my friend Sam. And I've pretty much done my horse. I want to um, add some metallic highlights in various places do a little bit of shading and i need to finish drawing in my sunburst um background that i wanted to do for this page so hopefully i'll get that finished in august too um i still <laughs> still have this whip from spirit animals with rach i will get around to finishing this Rach, I do apologise, but yep, that is done with the Rembrandt Polycolor, so I really need to get a shimmy on and finish that. I still have my whip in here, I need to get a shimmy on and finish that because I love how that was coming out. So yeah, these are a few month old whips now that I need to get a shimmy on. We still have our whip in Circle of Life by Mel Pemeni Chatsapani Giotu, which is the group body colour, which is this one. So I need to get around to filming a live stream for this or a colour and chat where I could put the colours on the screen. So I need to finish that. Okay, and now I think we go on to completed pages. So again, in no particular order, because they're all mumble jumbled. So the last time I touched this book was in June. Um, I don't think I touched it for the whole of July because I have been, have been doing lots more colouring with pencil again. But this was a five pen challenge um, with the Arteza Floral Tones chosen by Steve. I have put the date down there so this can come off. So these are the Arteza floral tones which are the brush markers and that is how my little owl turned out. I'm also going to pull this out to put my little page flags in. Um, that is page six. Yeah, I have marked these off already. And I think, is this a... Yep, I did this one as well, which is page 47. Yep, I flagged that one off as well. So this is another five pen challenge. The random number generator picked my pens and it was finished on the 4th of June. And I used Elite Joy Wish markers for that one. And those were the colours that got chosen by the random number generator. Oh, that was the book. <laughs> and that is how my page turned out. So quite cute colours. And I think that was everything done in there. And I'm going to put this this side because that's going back on my shelf. Then we have a page in Matchstick Mouse. This was a buddy colour with the lovely Michelle's box of hues. 
That is her Instagram handle, I believe. And this was started and finished on the 9th of June. I used Ohuhu brush markers as a base, as you can see. Then I used Artina pencils, uh, Jelly Roll Glaze Clear, Jelly Roll Stardust Clear. Let's lift that up. So the Jelly Roll Glaze Clear is on the eye and then the Stardust is the water in the watering can. So yeah, nice, easy, cute page. Need to come back to this book before summer is out. Okay, then we have Disney Stained Glass, another one of my five to finish. That's probably not gonna happen now because I was uh, putting too much pressure on myself. So this is Olaf started in may sometime by the looks of it and finished on the 11th of june um have i dated it nope i need to grab a pen and date it <laughs> i like my pages to be dated 11th of the 6th 22 Okay, and for this one, I used Ohuhu brush markers, Tamit glitter gel pens, Jelly Roll Stardust Clear, and Jelly Roll White. So you can see those gorgeous Tamit glitter gel pens around the outside there. And then we've got the Jelly Roll Stardust here. Really pretty, love the sparkle. And yeah, I just outlined Olaf with a very light blue grey marker, just so he had a little bit of definition and wasn't too flat. So yeah, that is that one. Then we have Houses Book 2 by Gabby Wolf. This was a buddy colour with the lovely colouring with K. I will leave everybody's channels. Um, in the description below with their links to their websites or Instagram. So this was started, uh, I'm not sure what date I started it because I didn't write it down, and was finished on the 18th of June. Um, I used Jelly Roll Stardust Clear Polychromos Pencils Uni Silver Paint Marker, hence all the thing on there. Jelly Roll Silver, I'm assuming that's Stardust. Jane Davenport Chilled Pastel Palette. So that's like a, it's a pastel palette, but it looks like eyeshadows. And Gold Uni Sparkling Gel Pen. Um, so yeah, these these uni paint markers, I had two of them from Colt Pens and neither one of them will work. So like the first one, I uh, sent a message to Colt Pens saying it's not working, please could you send a replacement? So they sent a replacement and that one's not working either. And I've done everything. I've shook them bad boys till like an inch of my life <laughs> and it's they still weren't working. But this is my page with the lovely K. So for this one, I kind of pictured um, Rapunzel's tower a little bit. If I grab this, which is my Disney Dreams book, you may remember this is a long, long standing whip, but we was doing this page and the roof on this is purple. So that's how I kind of envisioned this as well. <laughs> Just a slightly different um, brickwork colour. And then I wanted to do some woodwork on these. Tried to keep the colours limited as possible. And then my background, I literally just cut a cloud shape out of a piece of acetate and used one of those finger dobber, sponge finger dobber things and just smushed outwards to get like a cloud effect for my sky 
So there's some sparkle. It's like a zeppelin or something, I believe. There's a bit more sparkle up there. A bit of sparkle on the bee's wings. And yeah, a little bit on my boat here. Or ship, house, thing. <laughs> so a big thank you to the lovely Kay for budgying that one with me. Her page was absolutely beautiful too, as always. Then we go to 50 triangular mandalas. I think I did one in here as a buddy colour with Sam. Yep. So I made some summer colour palettes. And this was the one that we chose between us. And these are with Ohuhu markers. So if you want to use this colour palette, those are the markers that matched the best and this was started on the 14th and finished on the 14th of July so she picked the book and page and I picked the colour palette well I think it was a joint decision in the end <laughs> and that's stated so that can go so there is my five pen challenge Really like how that came out. No staining, which is good because they're ohoohoos. Then we have 50 Vacation Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. And I did this one. So you guys saw me do this on a couple of live streams, I think, one or two. Um, I started it on the 11th of July, finished it on the 14th of July. I used Ohuhu brush markers as a base, as usual, like so. Jelly Roll Glaze Clear and White, Uniball Signo Gold, Uni Paint Marker Silver, Zebra Doodlers Black Glitter Gel Pen, and the Arteza 120 pencils, which are the watercolour ones but I didn't activate them I just used them as a pencil and again for my sky I used the Jane Davenport chilled pastel palette so yeah that was finished on the 14th of July let's pop that in there and lift it up so I used the clear on my ice cubes to give them a shiny appearance some sparkle on the doors the clear on the water here as well to make it look wet and then my usual sort of outlining highlights with the jelly roll white and then a nice shiny cherry on top <laughs> so that was that page I'd quite like to do another one in here as well before summer is out <clears throat> Okay, then we go on to Aria Vale. This was a buddy colour again with the lovely K last month. And this is the page that I did. I've dated it so this can come off. And I'll also pull this off. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so this was started on the 22nd of July and finished on the 30th of July. I used Brute Funa Squares, uh, Deco Time Metallic Watercolours, Uniball Signo Broad Gold, Zebra Doodlers Black Glitter Gel Pen, Jelly Roll Stardust Silver and Gold, Jelly Roll White, and again, it was a buddy colour with the lovely K. So, I did a couple um, parts of this on a live stream where I was working on it. So you can see I finished the roof. Also put some stars in the sky. I painted the telescope in metallic silver paint and gold uni paint, uh, gold Uniball Signo. <laughs> and then here's our little bun bun 
love the colour this came out. If anybody would like any of these colour combinations from this page, do let me know. I wrote them all down. I love my little scrolls here. And yeah, the the um, Brut Funa Squares worked quite nicely on this Create Space paper. So that is that page. Then we have, I think, probably my newest completed page, which is Fledgling Fairies Colouring Heaven Special. This is Christine Karen. I haven't flagged it or I don't think I've dated it or anything. Oh, I have. I have written details. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a complete failure, just partial failure. <laughs> so this is our Fay Darling. And... This was started on the 16th of July and finished on the 22nd of July. I used Prismacolor pencils for the leaves. So all the leaves that you see. Um, I used Black Widows for pretty much everything else. And then I used the Brute Funa squares for the top of the mushroom. I was literally testing pencils on this. Um, Jelly Roll White and Stardust Silver. And yeah, no buddy colour, just flicking through this book and really fancied this page. And I love how she come out. So it's my first time ever attempting a darker skin tone. So hopefully she looks okay. And then I wanted to give her sort of a gingery brownish hair. So yeah, that is that. I used the Jelly Roll White on the toadstool top and sparkle on her wings and also outlined them with the white Jelly Roll. And I used some Jelly Roll Clear glaze on her eyes there. So probably my favourite page over the last couple of months. And that is why I've now switched back to going, uh, switched back to pencils for a little while <laughs> so this is modern witches by coco wayo i believe this was done on a live stream for freedom friday episode five so if you missed that episode it's in the playlist uh, so this was started on the 24th of june and finished on the 15th of july i used ohuhu brush markers Jelly Roll Glaze Clear, Jelly Roll Stardust Silver, Zebra Doodlers Glitter Black Gel Pen and Jelly Roll White. You know, the usual, <laughs> the usual stuff. Um, again, I need to write the date somewhere. 15th of July. Let's put it here. 15th of 7th, 22. Just so it's on there somewhere. And yep, yeah, I managed to get her finished. So I used the Jelly Roll Glaze Clear in her beads. And the um, Glitter Gel Pen in her eyes there. He's got Jelly Roll Glaze Clear on his eyes. She's got shiny patent shoes. <laughs> And then a sparkly lamp. And then the stars were all done in glitter too. She's got some little gold details on her earrings and her buckles there. So yeah, um, my vision for this was Rainbow Bright, which was a character from like the 80s, early 90s, I believe. So when I saw her, I, I wanted to do her in rainbow bright colours and that's how she turned out so that is modern witches by coco wayo then we go on to 50 diminutive countryside scenes by camellia angel cova and i finally finished <laughs> this whip i've dated it so that can come out this can come off. Oh, 
Oh, oops. Little rip there. Um, so yeah, started on the 18th of April. This is so bad. Finished on the 15th of July, but it's finished at least. It was our group buddy colour on YouTube. So if you search in the playlist um, for Camellia Angel Cover 50 Diminutive Miniatures, Diminutive Countryside Scenes even, you will find the um, live streams of when we coloured this together. Um, Ohuhu brush markers were used as a base. And then I used Jelly Roll White, Artina Expertillo pencils, um, Beauty Glazed eyeshadows for the background, and Jelly Roll Glaze Clear. And that was on the window, so Jelly Roll Glaze Clear. But yeah, I really like how my clouds come out on this one. They they seem a bit better. Nothing rubbing off there, so I may have sprayed it already. <laughs> but yeah, this is how it turned out. I can't remember if I used Prisma on the water or whether it was the Artina ones. I haven't actually written it down. But yep, that is how that one turned out. Pleased to finally have that done. Then we have Spooky Girl by Coco Wyo. This was a buddy colour with the lovely Chelsea. And I will link Chelsea's channel below for you as well. Let's pull this off. I need to write the date, which was the 15th of July, somewhere. Um, let's put it in here, 15722. So this was started on the 18th of June and finished on the 15th of July. Uh, I used Ohuhu brush markers. Arteza Pale Peach Everblend, that's for the skin, because <laughs> um, my skin cones run out in my Ohuhu brush marker set. Uh, Jelly Roll Stardust in gold and silver, and Jelly Roll White. So I love how my trees come out. They are all done with the... I didn't write down what pencils I used. What a blue idiot. I only, I didn't base the trees at all. The trees were all done with pencil. But I didn't write down what I blooming used. What a flooping idiot. Um, hmm. What did I use? Probably Brute Funa Squares, knowing me, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, did I write it down in my book? Yes, I did. Brute Funa rounds. So I actually did the trees with Brute Funa rounds. 41, 43, 67 and 32, if you want the combination. Um, that I'd only taken my markers upstairs to colour this and I wanted to do the, the trees a specific way so I just used whatever pencils Steve took up with him, my other half and he took the brute fruit arounds so that's what I used so I tried to get a little glow on the trees in places where the stars and fireflies and things were so yeah, that is that page, mainly marker but a big thank you to Chelsea for buddying with me. Her page looked flipping awesome. I'll link her Instagram down below as well so you can go check out her completed page. Then we have Mandala's Adult Colouring Book by Creative Mandala. This was a June page. 
and I think this was a live stream because the lovely Rachel Price from Pricey Colours um, picked a colour palette for me and I matched the pens up as best as I could. Um, I haven't dated it, let's do that. So 11th of June, 22. Um, so yeah, Ohuhu brush markers. You can see the colors down here that I used. And Tamit glitter gel pen, just to add a little bit of sparkle. I will also link Rachel's channel in the description below so you can go check her out. Come out really pretty. I'm really pleased with the colour palette that Rachel chose. So thank you, Rachel. Then we have 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. And I have no details. <laughs> about this page whatsoever um i can't remember if it was a five pen buddy color possibly with sam i cannot remember for the life of me but these are the pens that were chosen oh hoo hoo brush markers and i think it was done in june so i can tell you that much but that is about all I can tell you, I'm afraid. Because I didn't write anything down. Bad Zoe. But yeah, come out quite nice. So that was 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. Then I have Jade Summer's Cute Fairies. And this was done in June when the lovely Rach from Mini Rach came down to visit us and we went to Oxford etc. She stayed the night in the guest room here and I think about 10 o'clock at night or something we did a split colour together so I just um, cut the page in half, accidentally cut a few pages behind in half So that's okay, it's all good. Um, so yeah, this was done on the 25th of June and we used Arteza Everblend in floral and tropical sets. So that is that one. I think Rach was going for like a Sailor Moon vibe or something, if I remember rightly. I'm sure she'll correct me. I think she was going for some kind of anime colours. I um, can't remember if it was Sailor Moon or a different one. And then mine was kind of pink and green and purple and blue, which is pretty random for me. But yeah, that's how that came out. I'm hopefully having another visitor um, next weekend. So maybe me and... Um, my friend can colour in this together. Getting towards the end, I believe, <laughs> we have Flower Mandalas by Jade Summer. Again, another book I was trying to complete, but um, it got a bit much. So this was a random number generator five pen challenge. These are the colours that the random number generator picked and they were Olite Joy Wish markers. And this was started and finished on the 4th of June. And yeah, that's all I can really say about that one. Let's take the flag out and hold it up. So I always love blues and oranges together and with the sort of tealy color thrown in, I think it's come out quite nice. Then we have another one in here. So this was another five pen challenge and my other half, Steve, picked my markers at random. 
and they were the Spectrum Noir original markers before the Classics came out and GC Quill markers which I don't think you can even buy anymore and started and finished on the 19th of June if I haven't said that already so with this one because I got a couple of reds I decided to try some blending and I quite like how that came out quite pretty and is that everything in here yeah that's everything from flower mandalas by jade summer and then we have 50 spiral mandalas by camellia angel cover we have this one so this was started and finished on the 16th of June. It was a five pen challenge. The pens were chosen by the random number generator and I used pro markers for this one because my poor little pro markers get neglected from time to time. So I wanted to pull them out and do a mandala with them. And those were the colours it chose. And yeah, it's kind of 60s vibe, but I like it. Next, we have this one. So this was started on the 4th of June and finished on the 10th of June. It was a five pen challenge and uh, Mini Rach did a random number generator for the markers and they are ohuhu brush markers so <laughs> these are the colors the random number generator chose so we had three kinds of orange and then a light and darker gray so very sort of 70s vibes 60s 70s colors going on <laughs> and then that is one that i didn't get around to doing so we'll just take the flag out for that one and then last but by no means least, we have 50 Stylish Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cover. And this is probably my favourite mandala of the month. <laughs> so this was a buddy colour with Michelle's Box of Hues. Again, I will put all the links below. It was started on and finished on the 6th of June and I used Ohuhu brush markers, pro markers and tan mitt glitter gel pens. So those were the colours that I used. So these three were Ohuhu's and then these were the pro markers. And then the tan mitt glitter gel pen I chose was a gold. And I think that's called grey gold, if I remember rightly. It's so pretty. It's like a champagne gold. And yeah, I love how all the colours came together in that one. So that was all my pages for the month of June and July. So hopefully next month at the end of August, because I'm filming this on the 5th of August, um, hopefully I'll be a little more organised, have this video up on time <laughs> and uh, actually have my pages all flagged and dated but we'll, we'll see what happens. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. If you managed to get to the end of the video, big thumbs up for you. Please leave me a fish in the comments. Um, and I will see you all on my next video, which will be a June and July haul video. And maybe a bit of August thrown in too, we'll see. <laughs> Until next time, take care everyone and happy colouring. Bye bye!